Biodiversity levels in hot deserts are lower than in other biomes due to their extreme environmental conditions. High temperatures and lack of precipitation result in plants and animals having to adapt to the harsh conditions. Camels are an excellent example of an animal that has adapted to survive hot deserts. They have humps to store fat which a camel can break down into water and energy when nourishment is not available. They rarely sweat, even in hot temperatures, so when they take in fluids, they can conserve them for long periods. Camels also have very concentrated urine and feces to reduce water loss. Camels have large tough lips, enabling them to pick at dry and thorny desert vegetation. They also have slit-like nostrils, which they can close during sandstorms. They have two sets of eyelashes to protect their eyes from the sun and sand blown by the wind. Their broad, flat leathery feet help spread their weight and provide protection from hot sand. Having long legs creates distance between the hot sand and their bodies to reduce the risk of overheating. Having a light woolly coat helps reflect the sun and keeps them cool during the day and warm at night, when temperatures drop. The fennec fox is the smallest of all fox species. They are found in the Sahara Desert and elsewhere in North Africa. They have thick fur on their feet, protecting them from the hot ground. Their large bat-like ears radiate body heat and help keep them cool. The thick fur on their body insulates them during cold nights and protects them from the hot sun during the day by reflecting sunlight, keeping their bodies cool. Vegetation has also adapted to survive the hot desert environment. Vegetation has also adapted to survive the extreme hot desert temperatures, lack of water and high evaporation rates. Plants capable of modifying their characteristics to thrive in dry conditions are known as xerophytes, the most well-known being cacti. Cacti are succulents, storing water in their leaves, stems or roots. Cacti also have spines instead of leaves. These minimize surface area and help reduce moisture loss through daily transpiration. The spines also protect the cacti from being eaten by animals. They have a thick, waxy coating to retain water. Some cacti have horizontal root systems up to two and a half meters wide, close to the surface, to collect water from a large area. Acacia trees, found in various hot desert regions around the world, have developed a range of adaptations to thrive in harsh, arid environments. Many acacia species have deep taproots that allow them to access water stored deep in the ground, ensuring their survival during prolonged periods of drought. The acacia tree can store up to 120 liters of water in its roots. Their wide canopy provides shade, reducing soil temperature and slowing water evaporation from the soil. This not only helps the acacia conserve the moisture it needs but can also create a microhabitat for other organisms, promoting biodiversity. The shape and spread of the acacia's canopy can help collect and funnel rainwater towards the tree's root zone. Some plants in hot deserts are ephemeral, meaning they have a very short life cycle or a very short period of active growth. For example, the desert dandelion remains inactive for extended periods, only to sprout rapidly following rainfall. This adaptation permits them to fulfill their life cycles within a few weeks, including the swift emergence of vibrant flowers designed to attract insects for pollination. Why not head over to Internet Geography to test your knowledge on hot desert plant and animal adaptations?